Hi everyone, we're going to create a themed bodysuit today. And the supplies that you're going to need are your bodysuit or onesie, it's also known as a one piece, the embellishments you're going to use, and your fabric adhesive. And it comes in many forms. You can use the fabric webbing that is an adhesive after you iron it on. You can use a fabric glue stick or you can use a regular all-purpose hot glue stick and the self-adhesive double-sided fabric tape. You can use any of these items. Now one thing I do want to mention, if you're using one of the clear all-purpose glue sticks, it doesn't have the same flexibility as the fabric fusion type glue stick. But if you run an iron through it, you'll be able to eliminate it being clumpy because you're going to be smoothing it out and that should work just as well for you if you're trying to be more cost effective. And it really sticks too, just like the regular fabric style hot glue. All right, so we're using Avengers Captain America themed gross grain one inch ribbon or one and a half inch ribbon. We're going to make our bow tie out of satin ribbon we're going to add a little star in the center of the bow tie as an embellishment. And then we also have these iron-on patches that look like the shield from Captain America. So we're going to have some fun with this. Make sure that you heat seal any ribbon that you're working with. Take those flaps, and most importantly, they're called, I think, from the lap tees. That's the flap over the shoulder area. So you'll lift those up, go, get those out of the way. Kind of get, measure where you want the ribbon to start and stop. Put a line of hot glue or fabric glue. That's what I use as my starting point if I'm not sewing it. Because I can iron it and maneuver it. If I need to reheat it because I, I misplaced it, using the fabric glue or the hot glue gun, all-purpose glue, allows me to reheat it and kind of move that so I can have that suspender look. You know, if, especially when you see that you're creating and then you have one a little bit too far in and the other too far out, well, you can heat it up just a bit and kind of move it around without having to worry about damaging both ribbon and your bodysuit. And you can see here I had to do that a few different times. Your biggest thing is... Uh, trying to find something that will that you can put in between the bodysuit, and I found that using one of those uh, dividers from the 36 count sodas works great for little people's clothes. And all that does is allow you the security in knowing that whatever type of glue that I'm using, whatever type of fusion I'm using, it's not going to go into the back of the bodysuit. All right, so go ahead and make sure that you've heat sealed all of your ribbon, whether it's gross grain or satin. Put that layer of glue at the very top. Now place your ribbon, press firmly. Now go ahead and let that set for a second. Now I'm gonna use the self-adhesive double-sided tape, and it's fabric tape. And that's a little bit more pricey than some of them, the, the iron-on webbing that they have but sometimes it's more convenient and it lasts just as long. It works just as good. Uh, we've washed several items with this type of adhesive and haven't had any issues, but it is again, a little bit more pricey. So now go ahead and take it. And if you'll, if your ribbon is a little bit bigger, wider than your self adhesive, go ahead and Put that self-adhesive going all the way up and as close to one side as you can. Now the reason for this is when you add more adhesive, now you're not having to go back and forth from side to side. You're just going to do a line of hot glue or fabric hot glue or fabric glue all the way down on one side instead of having to go you know, from side to side. It just makes it a little bit easier, less messy and it helps you to know, okay, this whole side here needs a little bit more adhesiveness. Don't be afraid to lift your ribbon up if you see that you've placed it incorrectly, if you're using this double-sided fabric adhesive, okay? 
This tape is pretty durable. I wouldn't recommend washing it till 24 hours after it's set, only because it seems like it really penetrates better that way. So if you see that you've positioned the ribbon incorrectly, you can lift it up and then place it down and then press firmly. So don't press firmly until you take a good look of how you've laid the ribbon and made sure this is how I want it. Now press firmly. Do the same to the other side. Don't forget if you're using the all-purpose hot glue that you want to run your iron over it so that it warms it and then it flattens it out so that way you have no clumpy spots. And that is the same for using the fabric hot glue as well. You know, it, sometimes when you're using your glue gun, it just plops out and it's thick in one spot and then there's not any on another. So if you use that iron, you're spreading it out and you're making it even and smooth. All right, so now we have the glue, the, the initial glue where we put at the top done. We've positioned our quote unquote suspenders. Now we're going to add some hot glue on that one long edge to make sure that these embellishments stay secure after several washings. All right, so run a line of that fabric hot glue or your all-purpose hot glue. And remember, don't have it too, too close to the edge because it can squish out on you. You can always add more, so less is better, and then you can add a little bit more as you need to. Now, press firmly again, run your iron. Now you've done both of those sides. It's secure. Now let's put the other two embellishments on here. This iron-on patch, doesn't take anything special, any kind of special iron, anything like that. All you need to do is just press the iron on there firmly. It takes a little bit, it takes a couple minutes, especially when you're working with one of these little bit lower temp irons. But I know that I'm working with baby clothes too, so I know that I'm not gonna burn anything. And then just leave it on there, do any extra work that you need to do, make sure that you check all of your areas, make sure that you have enough adhesiveness. Now check your patch, move it, wiggle it. If it moves at all, that means that it's not ready. You need to put that iron back on there for a bit. While you're letting that iron, because you're standing right there, you can go ahead and keep it on there. And now you can create your bow for your bow tie. Or if you've already bought a bow, now you can do two things with it. Well, three things actually. You can hot glue it on here. You can sew it on here and you can also take some Velcro, cut you a small piece, depending on the size of your bow tie, because you don't want it to show. And you can take one part of the Velcro and directly attach it with your adhesive to your one piece, your bodysuit, your shirt, whatever piece of clothing you're working with. Now remember, that's not gonna come off though. But you can do that, and then you can attach the other part of the Velcro to the bow directly. Now what this helps with is when you're washing your clothes, when you're washing your baby's onesies or bodysuits or little shirts that are embellished, you can take those bow ties off. Now, if you don't want to do that because you want to be able to use the shirt you know, for something else, then what you can do is make sure that you just simply turn whatever, you're ma what you, whatever you've made Turn it inside out as you wash on the gentle cycle, and you should be good to go, especially with as much adhesiveness as, as we're using here. And again, you can also sew it. It's by hand, and it's not too bad. You know, it's not a lot of work. It's in and out, knotting it at the beginning, knotting it at the end, but it's in and out. Make sure you do it, you know, a few times, depending on how heavy it is, is how many times more you'll have to go in and out to make sure that it's secure. Special side note, I learned the hard way. Put that bow tie that you've created or that you've purchased lower than you would think that it would go. I thought that it went right underneath that crease at the collar part. And if you'll look at some of the pictures of our little model, it looks like it's like on his chin. So just put it a little bit lower and then it looks the way it's supposed to look. So I learned the hard way, guys, so you don't have to. Now you see our patch is done. We have our bow tie. We put a little star in the middle and this is your one piece. You just turned a regular one piece into a masterful creation.
Thank you so much for liking, sharing, su and subscribing. We couldn't continue doing this without your support. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget, anything you create is going to be fantastic because you took the time to create it.